The Blue Jackets getting set for the first of three meetings with the Buffalo Sabres this year, and it comes at a good time. The Blue Jackets off that 7-4 to four victory in St. Louis just a couple of nights ago. And, Jody, that's a win that you hope they get confidence from. Yeah, they should. I mean, they're, they're going into St. Louis, a desperate team, and the Blue Jackets showed more desperation. A lot of positives out of that game. They need to build on it here. We talk about this building all the time. At home needs to be intimidating. Use the momentum from last game, the positives, and bring them back home here tonight. Jonas Corposalo is going to make the start in net once again tonight. Now, until he played in St. Louis on Thursday, he hadn't played in two weeks. And he says, how do you stay prepared? Simply by practicing. I just try to practice as good as I can. I mean, uh, two weeks, that's a long time between games, but the only way you keep yourself on top of the game is to practice 100% every day. Well, the practice has paid off for Jonas Corposalo. He's going to start his first game back-to-back -back this year, and he's earned it. You know, Bobrovsky comes in as number one. They have his schedule, but Jonas Corposalo, last game, he battled and got the Blue Jackets that win, so he'll be looking to keep that crease here tonight. And it is a healthy competition, and maybe for Sergei Bobrovsky, one of the few times since he's been here as a starter where he's getting pushed by the other guy. Yeah, and that's a positive thing. You know, Sergei Bobrovsky needs more reps. He needs to find his game, and he will. But right now, for this time being, Corposalo's in and allows Bobrovsky to work on a few things with goaltending coach Manny Legacy. Marcus Anakinen played his first game of the year the other night. He played on the fourth line with Lucas Sedlak and Riley Nash. And Hanekinen, we know what he is. He goes 100 miles an hour. He hits things. He skates well with the puck. That's what he did in St. Louis. And he says having the veteran centerman in Nash really helped to settle down that line. Definitely, it's huge. I mean, uh, we have, I think we had a good chemistry right off the bat, and uh, I think uh, we can still play better. But I think uh, the other night uh, we played well, and uh, we just got to build on that. Chemistry is a good word for that line, and I like the way the game went last game in St. Louis for these guys because when the score gets out of hand in the Blue Jackets' favor, these guys are going to see more ice time. It allowed them to get more reps in different situations, and they're finding that chemistry. Riley Nash is a player that comes in here and trying to, he's trying to figure out where he fits in. Well, with two dependable, straightforward players, Riley can play a different game. I like the way that's set up for this line last game. Look for these guys to continue to play reliable minutes for the Columbus Blue Jackets. Let's talk about the Buffalo Sabres, the team that comes into this game with a record of 6-4. and four. This is a team that in the last couple of years has really been down. They feel that they're turning the corner right now, and they should feel that way. They've got some good players on this roster. We'll look at three of them right now. Jack Eichel, been here for a couple of years, now taking his spot as a certified leader. Jeff Skinner is somebody they pick up from Carolina in a trade this summer. And then the number one pick this past summer, Rasmus Dahlin. Yeah, Dahlin, an elite, skilled, very smart defenseman. He anchors the back end now and the future for the Buffalo Sabres. First overall, you're going to see an up-close glimpse of him tonight. The Blue Jackets are aware of his mobility. He's that guy that can make plays. Very mature, beyond his years back there on that spot on the defensive end. And then Skinner, what did they pick up? They picked up speed. That's one thing the Sabres have picked up. And with this guy, he brings it all. He's a little guy. He's leading the team in points, and he's fast. And he'd be on the power play out there, and he is on the top line with a guy, Jack Eichel, who is the captain of the Buffalo Sabres. He's a guy they're depending on in the future. He's a guy that's got great speed. He plays in most situations, but very, very good offensively and speed down the wing. He is a number one centerman. Uh, they'll be well aware of these three. All right, it's time to go beyond the numbers, which is being brought to you by Telhio Credit Union. What's the number tonight? I'm going to go with four. And because last game, the Columbus Blue Jackets really had a lot of input from the back end. The fourth man on the rush, the second wave, if you will. We saw Harrington do a good job keeping pucks in. We saw David Savard, Seth Jones. When the Blue Jackets have that fourth man in the attack, the second layer of attack, they're more effective. Look for these guys to continue at home to get those defensemen, the fourth attacker, up ice. All right, that's going to do it for the Rink Report. For Jody Shelley, I'm Bob McElligot. Enjoy the game.